Hi friends, welcome back to the Whole by Callie channel or podcast depending on where you are listening to this. I am so thankful to have you here. Thank you for spending time with me. I really do appreciate it and just know that you are seriously at the top of my gratitude list each and every day and I am so appreciative of you showing up for me so I can live out my dream life one day at a time. Today we're going to be talking about my spirituality journey, but before we begin, if you are new here, hello, my name is Callie and I post a new video in YouTube every single Wednesday and I really would love for you to join our spiritual sister fam. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe to both the YouTube channel and the podcast, so it's the Whole by Callie podcast, and then over on YouTube, it's again, Whole by Callie. And I'm also posting on Instagram, you guys, seriously, Every single day, I'm obsessed with Instagram. I love it. I'm also on TikTok as well. So really, I'm everywhere and anywhere. You just you just can't get enough of me, sis, I guess. And I just am so, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. So thankful that you are here. So today we are doing a combined YouTube video and podcast episode. I love doing these because then... I don't know, it's just like a nice little mix, mix up because the YouTube viewers get to learn a little, a little bit more about me. My podcast people get to hear more about what I do on YouTube. So just a fun mix. And again, I invite you to either check out the YouTube platform or my podcast platform, depending on if you don't follow both. So what have I been up to since the last time we talked? Today, Frankie and I actually went to the zoo and it was so much fun. And for those listeners that are new here, Frankie and I have a YouTube channel as well, which is so fun. It's something that we love doing together. And that is just Frankie and Callie on YouTube. So go ahead, give us a follow too if you want. And we went to the zoo, we vlogged the experience and it was so incredibly fun. And actually Fort Worth, Texas, the city we live in, has the number one zoo in America. It's rated the top zoo, I guess, and I can see why. It was a very, very nice zoo. We have been there once before, but the last time we went was last July when we first moved in to our apartment, and you guys, we literally went on a day where it was 103 degrees, so it was not that enjoyable. Today, it was much more mild temperature-wise, and it just it was so fun to just do something like that and just kind of have, you know, a childlike mindset with it and just having it be relaxed and fun. Then I also went to lunch with one of my good girlfriends, Gloria. We got some nice food, some fun drinks, and that is just, I love getting out of the house and being with my friends and doing fun things like that. And I'm just so, so thankful to have a good group of girlfriends here in Fort Worth. And that really does help in so many ways. And actually in July, so next month, Frankie and I will officially have been in Texas for one year, which blows my freaking mind. I cannot believe that we are already almost at this year mark because it went by so, so, so fast. And actually, I believe at this time too, I'm gonna be home in Minnesota with my family and I'm so thankful that I get to travel home and be with them for a full week and see all of my family members because I haven't been back to Minnesota since Christmas and it is long overdue. I am so excited to get back, yeah. I miss them terribly, terribly, terribly so. <sighs> okay, now that we're all caught up, sister, let's get into the topic of today's video and podcast. We are going to be talking all about my spirituality journey. I kind of said that weird, spirituality journey. Hence, keyword journey. Because life is a journey, getting to our goals is a journey, creating the life of our dreams is a journey, our spirituality or faith can be a journey, Everything in life, it's not necessarily about the end destination. Well, yes, that is what we are desiring, but it's also the process along the way. So let's begin. In 2015, I, or 2014, 2015, I attended the Tony Robbins event with my mom and it was called Unleash Your Power Within. And I actually did a video and podcast episode with her on that as well so i will link that up above or down below depending on where you are listening or watching and that was my first awakening with tapping into my intuition learning about the universe you know feeling a greater sense of knowledge and purpose within myself and i was hooked that whole experience opened my life up to all of the possibilities in this whole entire world 
I was already a pretty positive and upbeat person beforehand, but this event transformed my whole entire life and I have never been the person that I was prior to that event, if that makes sense. Like I have forever been changed. And then I, you know, finished out high school and I was super excited, very all into my Tony Robbins things and just feeling very, very high vibe. And then I went to college like most people do after high school and I kind of lost touch with that because I was so caught up in, you know, going to class, going to work, trying to meet people, just dealing with the change, dealing with the circumstance and I kind of lost touch with myself in that way. And I was trying to become a person that I wasn't in a sense and that's a common theme here throughout my journey and throughout life in general and I feel like a lot of people can you know have that be their reality as well always trying to form into a mold that other people are trying to assume you to be or want you to be so high school or excuse me college I was at MSU for a year I realized it wasn't for me and I took a step back and then I decided to leave MSU Minnesota State University and then head over to South Central College and I was determined to get my associate's degree in marketing management which I did and while I was doing that I started working at the best place possible it was a fun little boutique in downtown Mankato it has since closed unfortunately but working there literally was the greatest gift of my life. I met the most amazing girls, some of my closest friends, and I learned so, so much about spirituality and manifestation and positivity and mindset from my coworkers. And it was just like the best thing ever because I loved going to work. I loved being with my friends. I loved learning so much about them and through them. And it was just like such a sacred space in a way that um, boutique and it was just such a special time of my life and again that is another event that completely transformed the trajectory of my life and I would not be here today if I had not had that experience working at that boutique being surrounded by the most amazing women I've ever met and then so I finished out college I was still super high vibe all into my spirituality doing everything like seriously it was the best thing ever like because I was working at this boutique it was called Primp and then I was going to school full-time and also doing some like personal training stuff and I was just constantly riding on this high vibe energy I would do hour-long meditations I would practice reading auras with my sister I would uh, communicate to my archangels or guardian angels I would do yo constant yoga or I don't know, like I was just in my own little vortex, my own little reality, because to me, that's what life was. I would spend my New Year's Eve, or not New Year's Eve, but no, yeah, New Year's Eve, making vision boards with my friends. When we got together, we would talk about what we were manifesting, or we would do a tarot reading, or we would do an angel reading, or we would do Reiki together, or we would, you know, talk about our spirit guides and it was just so normal to me and that was my life. That was my reality and that was the first time I had fully experienced that and I will say it was, I was in that, I don't want to say phase, but that energy vortex for like two-ish years, I think. And then I started working full-time at the company that I do now and then I got a boyfriend and I got so caught up in that relationship, everything that I was passionate about, everything that I had wanted for my life, everything that I had worked so hard to achieve, like mindset wise, body positivity wise, healthy boundaries, etc., went out the window. I completely forgot who I was. I was not doing anything to fill up my cup. I lost touch with that reality, that beautiful reality, that beautiful energy vortex I had created for myself, completely gone. Because I got so wrapped up in this relationship and I honestly just lost touch of who I was. And I remember thinking to myself one day and just bawling. If I stay in this relationship, I'm giving up all of my hopes and dreams. And I knew that was not what I wanted. I was not comfortable with that. And I had that aha moment that made me fully realize that this was not for me. 
This is not the person who I've worked so hard to become. I did not become this version of me to just give up everything in the snap of the fingers. And that's when I finally realized like, hey, I need to change. This is not how I envisioned my life. This is not what I want to do. So I gradually started working up back into the energy vortex of everything that I was super excited and passionate about. I started working out again. I started meditating again. I started talking about spirituality and manifestation and actually eating healthy and moving my body in a nourishing way. And gradually, I started to continue to up level that and work it up and work it up and work it up. And luckily, I shouldn't say luckily. Well, yes, luckily. And gratefully, that relationship ended. And that is the best thing that had ever happened. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little dramatic, honestly, but I am so thankful that that relationship happened and it's no longer my current reality because I have truly done a complete 180 and I would not be here today doing my podcast, doing my YouTube, having my Instagram, having my TikTok, had that relationship not ended. And honestly, I owe all of this to my wonderful boyfriend now, Frankie, my genuine, true, 1000% soulmate, because he is the one that encouraged me to start Whole by Cali. And backstory on this, actually, I have always wanted to open up a wellness studio. And that has been my dream since college, honestly, like starting going when I started at South Central College. So that would be like 2017, maybe I don't remember, but that has been my dream since 2017 is to open up a wellness studio. So yoga, Pilates, meditation, journaling sessions, just a beautiful community of like minded women, women who support one, one another, women who understand where each other is coming from wanting the same thing in life, wanting a well-being, well-rounded, whole life, mind, body, and soul, encapsulating all of, the, all of the beautiful things of life. And that has been a goal of mine ever since. And honestly, it still is. I still want to do that one day. And I am doing that now, just in a different form. I'm doing it digitally. Getting back on track with the story. So that relationship ended, and again, so grateful that it served its purpose and now I'm here today. So that relationship ended and then Frank and I started dating shortly after and I just kind of told him. I didn't even like have a formal conversation with him. I was just fully myself. I would sage my house. I would be like, hey babe, I'm going to go meditate for 10 minutes. I'm going to do my morning routine. I'm going to journal. Hey, I'm going to go do Pilates. I'm going to go on a walk. Really prioritizing the things that I was passionate about. And this was at the beginning of, you know, when the whole world changed, I can't really say that word for, you know, YouTube or whatever, but when the whole world changed, that was the perfect time, honestly, because I had the time in the world. And I was so confident with myself because I was like, you know what, if I'm going into a new relationship, I cannot and will not give up this version of me that I'm continuously trying to create. So like I said, I was so open and honest. Like, I'm gonna go sage my house, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna go to this class, I'm gonna take this webinar or seminar, whatever. And Frankie was always on board. He has never once judged me, tried to change me, tried to tell me that I was doing something stupid, etc. And honestly, he has been my biggest cheerleader through this whole entire journey, like the, almost the two years that we've been together. Actually, by the time you're listening to this, we have been dating for two years, which is so, so fun. And I will say that the whole reason when I sat down to create Whole by Cali, I wanted to be, okay, so right, you follow influencers, you have people you listen to their podcasts, you have people you turn to to learn new things, etc. I wanted to become that person that that prior version of me could have turned to during that time of loneliness, during that time of forgetting who I am, during that time of having all my hopes and dreams shattered, I am becoming the version of someone, myself, who my previous version self would have wanted and craved, if that makes sense. It's kind of, I'm kind of maybe not articulating it in the right way, but essentially life gets tough. Life gets lonely. When we're learning about new things, sometimes it gets overwhelming. Sometimes it gets frustrating. 
sometimes you're the only one you know maybe in a 50 mile radius that is into the things that you are into that wants to talk about manifestation that wants to talk about spirituality that wants to learn about auras etc i was so fortunate and lucky enough to have that surrounded by me in the most amazing women and i know that not everyone is fortunate enough to have that experience so i created whole by cali when i sat down to really think about what value i wanted to provide what i wanted to give people is to be their support to be their cheerleader i want to give everything to them on a silver platter hey girlfriend you're trying to learn about manifestation here's what you need to know you're trying to learn about spirituality here's what you need to know and just taking out all of that time and guesswork and really just saying hey sister here's how i can help you and here's what i can provide and i am so incredibly proud of myself for this whole entire journey because again like i mentioned at the beginning it has been a journey. It will continue to be a journey. I will not be the same version of myself who I am today as I will be a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. I'm continuously going to up level, continuously going to learn and grow. And so are you, so are you. And if I can support you in any single way, I want to, and I am here for you. And I just want you to know that I am your biggest freaking cheerleader ever, hands down. No one in this universe wants you to succeed more than I do because I genuinely know that each and every one of us are so capable and powerful enough to live out the dream life that we have always dreamed of. It might not come at the time you expect it, it might not come in the form you expect it, etc. but we're all capable of it. We're all willing and deserving and valuable enough to have it. So sister, that has been my spirituality journey up until this point, and it's going to continue to evolve and grow and change, but I feel like I'm finally at a point where I just feel like I am constantly on this high vibe, not constantly, I'm gonna take that back, absolutely not constantly. I have more days that I feel, you know, in alignment with my higher self, my future version self, my most whole self, than days that I don't. There are always going to be days that you just wanna cry, where you feel like you're failing, where you feel like you're not doing enough, where you feel out of alignment. Those days are always going to come, no matter what. Like, maybe not no matter what, maybe you can, absolutely, you can get into a place of enlightenment and I want that for everyone, but sometimes Again, that's part of the journey and it's just going to can take going to take continuous work. And what my point is, through my work, through everything that I've been learning and growing through, I have more days where I feel in alignment than days that I don't. And I hope that that journey continues for me. I hope that that progress continues for me. And I know that it can for you too. If you have a spirituality journey that you would love to share with me, please, please, please let me know. Heck, Girlfriend, you can even come on my podcast and YouTube channel. I would love to share you, your story, your journey, everything with everyone who tunes in. <sighs> okay, I'm feeling so good about this conversation. I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments or send a DM on Instagram. Sis, my DMs are always open. I want to support you in any single way that I can. So please, please, please reach out. And... If there's anything I can do for you, I want you to know that I will do anything in my power to support you. Okay, sis, I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you learned something new about me. I hope that you get inspired in a sense to continue on in your journey and just know that wherever you are in your journey is where you're meant to be. And if it's where, and if you're in a spot where you don't feel like, you know, you envisioned yourself where you want to be, you have the power to change it. You have the power and the ability to switch your mindset to continue on and make the progress that you wanna see. And if you need help and guidance and support to get there, I'm here for you. I want to help you and I will support you through anything that you are going through. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for listening or watching on YouTube or my podcast. Again, you are so immensely grateful or I am so immensely grateful for you, your love and your support. Thank you for being here. 
Thank you so much for everything. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see a video on for next week. And I will be back, sisters, with so much love, your spiritual sister. Bye!